Hi, this is Shanna with part two of the tutorial on the Cartwheel mini album, this mini album. And now um, part one, I showed you how to make the base pages. And now part two, I'm going to show you how to add the pockets and the flaps. So the first base page that I have is the one that's not border punched anywhere. Now this is my fifth take on this video and I keep on ripping the paper off and it's becoming quite flimsy now. Um, <clears throat> for the first pocket on the inside, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that measures six by three and three quarters. And what you're going to do is you're going to score it a half an inch on two of the short sides and one of the long sides. Apply your tape to the flaps while they're in an the extended position and then fold them back before you're, you're, you know, to attach it to your page. You're going to want to fold these two short flaps down first and then the bottom flap up that way there's nothing for your tag to get stuck on on the middle and then you're going to put it on to the right side of the flap there's going to be a little corner sticking out down here and you're just going to use your corner rounder and chomp off the corner there if you want to have your pocket border punched here you're going to want to border punch that before you actually attach it to your page the second element goes on the back of the first page and that's the belly style band. That one measures eight and a half by two and you're gonna score it at half an inch on each of the long sides. So stick it into your scoreboard so the eight and a half inch side is at the top and score it half an inch and then again at eight. If you want to punch the sides, you can. The flaps here is where you're gonna to wanna to put your, your tape so apply your tape to the flaps while they're in the extended position, and then you can adhere it down to your page. And that's all there is to the first page. The second page style is the one that I use the border punch on the flap. So you're going to put a pocket on the inside of that page. And again, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that measures seven by three and a half. On the seven inch side, you're going to want to score it a half an inch and six and a half inches. And on the three and a half inch side, you're going to score it a half an inch. Do the same thing with your flaps. You're going to apply your tape with your flaps in the extended position. And then you're going to want to fold in the two side flaps first and then the bottom flap up. That way nothing gets obstructed from here. Because if you put the bottom flap down first and then these two flaps, your tags are going to want to get stuck to the, to the corner here on that side. So do your two side flaps in first and then your long flap. I'm just going to apply more tape just so it doesn't fly around when I close this. So then you're just going to line it up to the bottom and into the sides and then that's your pocket. This page has the two double pockets on the back of it. So you're going to need two sheets of cardstock that measure six by four and three quarters. On the four and three quarter inch side you're going to score at half an inch and then at four and a quarter inches. So if you want to use your border punch, border punch on the left edge because the right edge is where you're going to have your binding and you won't be able to take your tags out if you open up this pocket. Once you scored, applied your tape onto the flaps while they're in the extended position, fold them under and attach them to the page. Then you're going to want to take some wet glue and glue the right side of the pocket down on both of them. And again, if you wanted to do the, the border punch, do it on the left side before you attach your page. And that's all there is to the second page. The third page has another belly style band on the front of the flap that measures eight and a half by two. You're going to score it on the eight and a half inch side at half an inch and eight inches. You're going to need a total of four of these for your album for all the pages. I'm just giving you um, measurements for one sheet, but you're going to double it because you're going to make two of each of these designs for your album or more if you want more pages. Again, use the border punch after you squirt it. Fold your flaps, apply the score tape, and attach it to the front of your page. 
the second element on this page is a pocket here on the left side. And this pocket is eight and a half by three and a half. You're gonna score on the eight and a half inch side at half an inch and at eight. And then on the three and a half inch side, you're gonna score at half an inch. You're gonna to wanna to do the same thing when you're folding these flaps. The two long sides fold in first, then the long side fold up so that nothing gets stuck in there. And my camera's froze. Okay, so then you're gonna attach it with the folded edge to your left. The opening is on the right. And again, you can use the border punch before you adhere it down. And that is the last of the page designs. I had three different page designs, but I have six total pages in here, so I have two of each of these designs. So again, the first page, I have my pocket here. And again, there's pockets on all these pages here. And then I have the belly style band. Whoops, let me get in the camera view. I have the belly style band on the left page. The second page just has a flap. There's nothing on the front flap or the inside of the flap, but it has a pocket on the actual page here. And then when you flip it over, that's the page with the two pockets here. I just used one sheet of cardstock to mat over both of those pockets. The third pocket or the third page style has the belly band on the front flap and then a pocket on the inside left of that page. And then the back of that page is blank. And then in the album, I start to repeat. I just did them in order. And that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Then just, you know, you can distress your edges, mat your paper. Your paper's going to go under nicely here. Um, the pockets, because they've got the gussets on them, your paper will fit nicely inside there. And that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. Be sure to check out my blog soon because I will be adding pictures and a written tutorial um, for this album. Thanks.